Game 3, match game, as you can see, it's a Turks 4, let's go in right now, starting at like 5 minutes in-game. Malakor, Turks, what a surprise here, with the main gold forward, that's not too good, but second and third gold, safe in the back. Extra barriers, which he's milling, interesting, getting the second boar, and I think the first one was inside too, got deer inside, second stone outside, main stone forward as well, so stone, that might be troublesome, but I think he will be able to get a castle up if he wants to early on. Let's Let's see for Stefan, how is this map looking, main gold, forwardish as well, third gold, forward outside on the same side, so we might see a castle somewhere around here later on, main stone also forward, we have a second gold and an extra gold inside, safe in the back, the second stone outside, both players maps not really too too good, deer inside from Stefan, so I guess this is an, an even map or an evenish map, we have one really close to Stefan here, another one close on the right hand side, this one close to an extra gold, I guess, somewhat in the neutral zone, and those two might be closer to Malkor here. I'm not sure about the neutral zone here, it doesn't really matter. Let's see how the players are going to do. I'm expecting to see yeah, Stefan on stone, no surprise here. I imagine we might see Malkor not on stone, but instead go for a Kai, sorry, for a stable again. Go for the light calf, which is of course free for the Turks, and then try to get map control from there. Spanish and with the conquistadors should be able to counter a light calf without too many problems. I think Turks should do too. And we might see Stefan this game win over the castle age map control fight and try to go aggressive here. Not sure if Stefan is going for any extra TCs. We're going to see the barracks from Malkor. No surprise here. Mm, not too late because Stefan is up, Malkor not yet. Mm -hmm. And blacksmith and archery range. Wow, we're going to see Kev archers. Interesting choice. Kev archers might be a good option for the Turks, actually. I expected to see the stables, but no, not this time. And that means my predictions are going down to down the toilet. I don't know what's going to happen here. And both players on with castle age. Now Stefan first going with the castle. I'm going to speed up a little bit and see. I uh, don't think Melkor will do any archers here. Is he going to spend gold? No, it's going to be the Cavarches and we're going to see castle I guess somewhere around that main stone I don't think he's going to put it in front of the main gold which might be the better option but um, protecting the stone probably better here Stefan no extra TC's I think he, I guess he will go for one TC I didn't see the game so I'm really uh, just guessing in the dark here Kev Arches from two archer ranges and looks like one extra TC coming up from Malkor already between those two wood lines I like the TC spot the first Kev Arches on the way against Genistries Genistry is plus 3 range compared to the uh, Kev Arches. Kev Arches only, oh I need to slow down a little bit, like 4 plus 1, 4 plus 2 now, what can I run? Let's go to 85 speed, that's my favorite. And we have 8 against 9 military units, the first monk out to grab a relic and the siege workshop coming up here. Melkor, lone resources obviously, is fun, pretty much the same, 233 stone, no extra TCs for now, and he might go for them, but we might also see in an arch range, um, arch range, Manganel first. And that's what's happening. The Genesis should be able to defend against the Kev Arches, no bloodlines yet. And without bloodlines, those Kev Arches will suffer from low HP and high damage from the Genesis. Bloodlines on the way though from Malkor. He knows how to play this, he knows how to do it. And now only the Manganel is a problem, maybe. Of course, with the stable up, we might see if you like Kev getting at it. And then this could be an interesting Castle Age fight. Malkor, no 30C yet. Let me check. No, 100 stone in the bank. And we're going to see a few single dead Kev archers. That's actually two more. Janissary going down. One or two of them, maybe. But the KD in favor of Stefan. This game, I guess it's easier to micro Janissaries against Kev archers than the other way around. Ballistics, Pellet Archer, Armor, Village and Numbers, 10 ahead for Malkor. Gate behind that by Malkor as well. But this piece of the wall will go down and looks like uh, Malkor needs to go back, get the Kevarchas back. And I think he needs to get his own Siege Workshop, which he did not. Instead, we're going to see more Archer Rangers. Thumbring on the way, those Kevarchas will be fully upgraded. But I think he needs the Manganels to defend maybe those two gates, but it's open in the middle and the gates will go down fast. Two, three, four Manganels, not even a Scorpion added in by Stefan, who still is on one TC, no two TCs actually now. One of the main gold, I like this decision. And nice Manganel shot. Those Kev Archers are taking quite some damage. That means Stefan can now go in and the main gold from Malkor is not safe any longer. Should take a shot on those two gates, take them down, uh, just annoying. Mm, 
And I think we might see Melkor in trouble as long as he's not getting a Siege Workshop of his own. He's doing even more Archer Rangers. He's got gold income from the extra golds in the back, from the second and third gold actually. It's no extra golds really, but second and third for me. And now the Cavar just trying to take down Mangonels. Actually, one of them going down, but at least three Mangonels, uh, three Cavar just dying. Janissary is moving in. They have upgrades, plus two defense is done. That means they are not easy to kill here. And nice shots with the Scorpions on those Cavar as well. Now Ram is in, Mangonel moving forward. Stefan doing good. He's catching up with the villager numbers, and he is the one going aggressive. With the Relic at home, with the Castle up, of course. Cavar just going down to the Janissaries here. That Mangonel not even dying. And a Siege Workshop now coming up in the middle of the map. Main gold still covered and the Janissaries are doing damage. Scorpions, Mangonels, Rams, all those siege units. That's beautiful. Janissaries controlling the front of Melkor's base and Melkor with the Cav Archers. 70 HP plus 2 plus 1 defense only. Missing an upgrade actually but all the other upgrades are done. He is not gonna have an easy time to take this down. I think Knights might have been an option here. Like go for uh, the big Knights and now Stefan. He was on stone going with the second castle here. If that castle is going up, I think Melkor might need to call it GG. And there is a lot of Janissaries standing around but a, uh, uh, a lot of Kevarches but the Janissaries behind that castle with that superior range are going to be able to take down everything here. And look at this, Stefan, 29 against 11 military units. The castle not finished but the villagers going to safety. There's three of them remaining and they're going back again. Stefan doesn't really need to hurry to get this castle up. He's just so much map control here, so much army and he's also also clicking up to Imperial Age, I think Malkor did the wrong thing this time. He was trying to go to Kev Archer line, but he needed to add in Knights probably. And even then, I'm not sure if it's going uh, to work. We have Imperial Age click also for Malkor, but what is he going to do here? He's going to face Bombard Cannons. We have six more villages for Malkor at the same time. He's going to lose houses, he's going to lose Archer range. The TC will go down. Malkor uh, did the upgrade in the backwards TC, which is very important. Now with Ram even attacking, there's only two villagers, so that Ram is going to survive for quite some time the Kev Archers don't, are not doing so much damage here and the TC is actually going down Janistri is moving in again of course Stefan is starting to take the main gold and I think Stefan should uh, save up for Bomber Cannons he's got a lot of food in the bank actually a lot of food and gold not so much wood which is interesting let's see what the plan is we might see the cap from upgrade just in case spend some of that food Legion history, probably not. Oh, I'm wrong. It's possible and it's coming in. Ring Archer armor on the way. And probably Bombard Cannons. Um, yeah, there it is. Expected. Melkor is up to him still without siege workshops. Is that true? No, no siege. No, that's one of them at least. Bombard Cannons coming out. But is it going to be enough? Janissary uh, is a Legion is an open formation. They're going to be able to snipe Bombard Cannons so easily. Captrum on the way, as expected, actually. It's got a ramps up, so why not go for the Captrum? It's got food. And Melkor, a good amount of food and gold in the bank. First Bombard Cannon is out. But Stefan, still more military units. And where is this Bombard Cannon? Staying it behind the castle for now. The Janissary is still getting micro against the Cav Archers and the two Bomber Cannons for now are alive are doing some damage or trying to do but there is also a Bomber Cannon from Stefan here same milit uh, military numbers military a lot better for Stefan who's in a score lead and uh, Melkor decided to not try any longer calling GG didn't have a lot of economy here a lot of wood but pretty much nothing else the gold just ran out and that means Stefan taking this game with an impressive attack of the Janissaries. They are just better than the Cav Archers in Castle Age. Hope you enjoyed this one. The series is not over. Game number four coming up. See you there. GG.